Imagine transforming days and weeks of work down to about an hour. It's possible using a few artificial intelligent tools. So I'm gonna share with you the secret, the process that I use that changed my life and it could change yours too. Hi, this is JJ. Today I'm gonna to tell you about a game changing secret that cut my video production time down from days and weeks down to about an hour. Yeah, you heard that right. So there's no gatekeeping over here. I'm gonna tell you about six AI artificial intelligence tools that I use that make the process faster, easier, and cheaper. Because believe it or not, I paid someone for part of this process. So if you're interested in that, stay tuned to this video. No wasting time, let's get into it. So the first step in the process is I record my video, including all the awkward pauses, the ohms and ohms, and then I take that video and I upload it into this tool called otter.ai. Now what otter.ai is going to do is going to transcribe the words I say into text. Now it's not gonna be perfect, but it's the first step in the process. The next step in the process, we're gonna head over to ChatGPT which is a free tool, and I am going to give it three prompts. The first prompt is for it to create a clear, concise, seven to 10 minute YouTube video of that raw transcript. And the second prompt, I'm gonna ask it to turn the script that it produces into an outline form. Now, the reason why you may be the type of person who prefers to read your script for a video, in which case that's an option. And the outline is for those like me who prefer just to have an outline. And then a final prompt I'm gonna give chat GPT is for it to take that transcript and condense it down into a one minute script for a short form vertical video that I can then use for TikTok shorts or reels. So that's the second part of the process. Now you may be asking yourself, if you recorded the video, why would you start over again? Well, actually, it's a great idea to start with a fresh, crisp script that ChatGPT produces because it's gonna have a nice compelling hook, it's gonna have all the transition terms, and it's gonna save me time and hours of tedious editing the raw version that has the ums and ahs and may not even be compelling, so in actuality, it's more efficient this way. So trust the process. Now, because these days I don't use my DSLR camera, I record most of my videos using my iPhone. So I would use a tool like a teleprompter app if I wanted to read the script verbatim. And you can do that as well. Or you can also use the outline. So the outline version allows you to stay on track to make sure you're hitting all the points. And with the teleprompter app, it goes right up against your screen so you don't miss your place or anything like that. And it scrolls just like a teleprompter. Such a good tool. Now for the short form video, I have that one minute script. I'll just memorize it and I'll produce a vertical video for TikTok, for YouTube shorts, for Instagram reels. And it's a great way to repurpose content and actually get people into this longer version. So that's step four. All right, the next step, you know that it's important to keep your video engaging. And there's a lot of competition for people's attention, so you need to keep things moving. So for the short form vertical video, I didn't go to Captions app. What Captions app is gonna do is going to put captions, but more than that, it's also gonna do things like eye tracking. It could add sound effects, it add B-roll, it'll just do all the different things to make that video more engaging, the zoom in, in and out effect, and it's just really, really great for converting your short video into something that's just more dynamic is going to keep people's attention. Now for the long horizontal YouTube video, you need B-roll. So that's when you use tool like nvideo.ai. You can take the transcript from ChatGPT, insert it into nvideo, tell it, you know, what's the audience for, what sort of feel you want, whether it's clean, whether it's colorful, a poppy with a short form vertical video and it's going to produce a video using free tools like pexels.com and unsplash and pixabay resources and it's going to create this nice dynamic video what i do then is take that video and when the editing process i'll just layer them on top so i can intersperse the b-roll footage that i get from the in video video and between the video of me actually talking. So that makes it a little more engaging for the long form video since you're not gonna be doing the same poppy stuff that you would need for the vertical short content that the captions app does for you. Yeah. So that's essentially the process, but there's one more step. Pause here for a second before I tell you that last step. Now, if you love what you watch and you're interested in learning more, my name is JJ Gat. I am the content creator attorney. As an attorney, I help fellow content creators decode the laws related to the creator economy, including 
brand deal terms, Federal Trade Commission disclosure rules, just the laws for getting to uh, social media and the creator economy in general. So if you're interested in that, I want to invite you to subscribe to this channel and then also hit the notification bell so YouTube lets you know when I upload a brand new video and when I do upload it, I need you to actually watch it. Comment below, share it with fellow content creators. If there's a content creator in your life and you only need this video, you can share it with them as well. And that helps me grow and that helps me provide more free advice and resources and tools and information to you. So let's get into the last step. Now, the last step in the process, if you are a content creator, you know that you want to get your video in front of a lot of people. And the best way to do that is to actually embed that video into a blog. Now, if you don't already have a blog or website, I'll put a link down to a video that I did on this account and this channel, if you're watching this on YouTube, where I show you how to create one from scratch in, in about an hour using Dreamhost. Now, if you already have one, you want to take that YouTube video and you're going to embed it into the blog. Now, the blog has to be search engine optimized, include the headlines and the sub headlines, the meta tags, the, all the things. And there's the final tool is blogify.ai. What that would do is allow you to either take the chat GPT transcript or the link from the YouTube video and you upload it into Blogify and it produces this wonderfully optimized long video on um, blog article for you and then you could just take that transcript and cut and paste it put it straight into your blog or if you're like me I also blog on medium and also blog on LinkedIn you can also take that same blog and drop it into your LinkedIn and blogify include all the affiliate links all the things and that's gonna get more eyeballs on your blog and so if you have uh, ads on that blog the people are gonna click it if you have that video in there that's gonna get you more views that's gonna get you more subscribers possibly just more eyeballs it extends the life now the reason why I said early in the beginning of this that this process saves me money is because I used to hire someone to do that process for me I can have her do something else that's more important because blogify.ai just takes the time and efforts from us going back and forth and cuts that down into just like minutes yeah, so that's the process. So that's it. Six AI tools from research, transcription, down to the publishing and production, which gives you time that you can focus on ways to connect more with your audiences. Now, if you're interested in any of those tools that I mentioned in this video, I'm going to put a link down to them. Some of them are affiliates, meaning they're affiliate links, meaning that if you decide to use them most of them are free but you want to go to the upper tiers i would get a small commission for referring you and that's a great way to thank me for sharing with you this amazing secret because not everyone's going to tell you that they do this and you're going to be frustrated you've been out there doing this and grinding and the reason why you might not have been uploading a lot of videos is because the process takes so long so now you know there's a quicker easier more efficient way to do it you got to get on it so finally um Go ahead and try those out and what you can do me a favor if you use this process and it's helpful for you i would love if you would come back to this video so i need you to save it come back to the video and comment below to let me know if this works for you the benefit of that is great because i want to make sure i create content that's relevant and useful to my audience but then also other folks who come to this video after and they look to the comments if they see your comment there and saying that it works they're more likely to stick through and try it themselves because it's each one teach one we're all into this together we want to make sure the process and we all grow because you know creation and success it's life it's not a pie there's plenty of room for all of us to be successful so yeah now again you can subscribe share this video and join this J squad and otherwise if you want to learn more from me and continue this process going I'm gonna put a playlist here to another how-to video that should be wonderful for you and yeah let's keep the learning going check it out here